I seen Mitchell last week was the last time I seen him. He didn't show up for work on Monday, and of course, now we know the reason why. Debbie Williard is overwhelmed by the thought her co worker, Mitchell Young, could be part of the horrific attack on the Cipriano family of Farmington Hills. Did he pick up a bat and bludgeon? the mother or or brother or was he part of killing the father but police say Mitchell Young and his friend Tucker Cipriano broke into the Cipriano home and with baseball bats murdered Tucker's father Robert and critically injured his mother Rose and brother Sal the motive apparently money they were going to this home I think Mitch thought to um, steal and rob and get as much money as they could I don't think he had any idea that Tucker was going to this home to kill the family. Williard worked alongside Mitchell Young for about four months here at New Cedar Restaurant. She describes the 20 year old as well liked by customers, polite, intelligent, talkative, but everything changed about a month ago. He got kicked out of his home because he couldn't pay for college and his mom wanted him to go to college. And that's when all of his struggles started to, you know, started to start. A couple weeks ago he would show up a little bit late to work or he wouldn't look well kept. He was tired. He was living out of hotels or in his truck and he just wasn't performing his duties as well at work. He wasn't on top of things. He was like lost. This morning we got a new look at Mitchell Young and Tucker Cipriano as they faced a judge via video from the Oakland County Jail. Both said little during today's hearing. I have it is my choice, Your Honor. Just two days ago during their arraignment, Mitchell Young sobbed uncontrollably. <laughs> Quite a different sight from today. I understand, Your Honor. Both suspects have a criminal history. Young's includes driving while intoxicated and marijuana possession. He told me he could not use drugs because he's on probation. I never seen him come to work, you know, high if he really was on drugs or something like that. He never shown, you know, that side of him. But these latest charges, which include first degree murder, will send them to prison for life if convicted. I never would think that he could ever do anything like this. I was in shock. I still am. In Farmington Hills, a new Prakash 7 Action News.